Hello everyone, this is the Coach Andy Caven Show, I'm joined by Andy Cavins. I'm Chris Wells, Sports Information Director here on the Lindsey Wilson Sports Network. This is the Andy Caven Show, and uh, Coach, first off, a uh, terrific win last night against Bethel. I know you talked to Dan post-game, but 12-14 uh, hours after the fact, after you watched some uh, film and everything, would you give us an assessment? Well, I, I was really optimistic about the match going into last night, and then we came out kind of slow. I uh, thought a lot of the younger girls were nervous, being the first home match. We had a really great crowd, which I really appreciate the support, and hopefully it gets, it gets even better. But again, I think that affected us negatively at first, but we really picked it up and fed off that as the match went forward. Um, I thought the four freshmen did a phenomenal job. Uh, but most importantly, uh, Andrea Taylor, our junior setter, really led the offense and really kept us stable throughout the night and really just fed off uh, our really talented players and just fed the ones who are, who are ready for it. Lindsey Wilson wins last night over Bethel University 3-1 uh, to one, and to improve to 2-0 and oh on the season. You mentioned the shaky start a little bit. Anything that uh, that worries you a little bit, that it's a trend? I know that IU Southeast there was a little bit going on with uh, first game jitters, second game jitters, but is that just something that will work itself out as the, as the season goes along? I think the biggest thing with the, such a young group is just really to instill in them the fact that they have to stay focused the entire match. I think we have a tendency at times just to kind of rest back on our laurels and uh, not really push forward and be aggressive and uh, you know, make it a big impact right away. I thought we did a great job as the match progressed of just really coming out and being aggressive and uh, keeping the ball on Bethel all the time. But again, we have to do that from, from the get-go. It seemed to me watching it uh, last night that uh, you kind of, I guess, forced yourself on them, inflicted your will, so to speak, uh, because they seemed to get a little tired in the third and fourth uh, game, you guys didn't. You just were as strong in the third and fourth as you were in the first. And that's something that is really important to our program is, you know, with the returners last spring we really uh, instilled in them the fact that they need to be physically fit, conditioned, ready to compete mentally as well in the later games. And I think that's when, you know, the best teams really show themselves. Uh, that's again with the kids we recruited, same thing. Kids that are athletic minded, ready to put in the work on and off the court to be prepared for the match, and I, I will totally agree with you the fact that we were able to really pull ahead in game three and game four because uh, we continue to do our schemes, whereas uh, we wore them down throughout the night. How was coaching first home game at Vigors last night? Uh, it was great. I mean, it's, it's a really small, close-knit arena, which makes it for a really loud crowd. We had such a great turnout for that first match, um, and I was really happy about that. Uh, a lot of professors, a lot of faculty, a lot of administration was there. and I mean, you can't ask, ask for any more support than that. But again, as the girls were nervous, I'm sure I was a little <laughs> bit nervous too. Uh, but it was really nice to get that win, that first time win, and we uh, hope to have those same kind of crowds all year long. Looking at the stat sheet, you had four ladies with eight or more kills. AT really spread the ball around. She definitely did, and that's what um, makes our offense so unique. Uh, Coach Robbins said earlier today the fact that we have the ability to have multiple people hot every night. We're not reliant on one specific hitter uh, like they may have been in the past. We have the ability to spread the ball around and really go to those who are hot right away and then obviously as the defense uh, sticks with them that gives frees up opportunities for our other attackers and that really helps us to be successful. As a team you hit 233 as opposed to Bethel's 093 that's pretty good numbers that you like to see every game right? Definitely and I think that attributes to the, the work ethic we put into blocking the last couple of weeks is really just to make a, a concerted effort to focus on the block and really put a ball down instead of just giving them extra opportunities. Um, in game one, we struggled to really kind of get a rhythm, but uh, as you can see by the, the stats, those games two through four, we really shut them down uh, defensively. And I thought Alex Gibbsy and Rachel Anderson and Kirsten King played a great, uh, great back row, and that really helped us stay in systems and you know continue to attack back even on their strong swings. Again, Lindsey Wilson wins last night over Bethel 3-1. to one. Up next for the Blue Raiders, they travel up to Cincinnati to take on Cincinnati Christian tomorrow night. Six o'clock uh, against Cincinnati Christian. What do you know about Cincinnati Christian? Uh, you know we played Cincinnati Christian in the spring. You know they're a, they're a smaller school. Uh, they have some, a couple of talented athletes. So they have uh, an outside hitter that was uh, the KIAC Conference Player of the Week twice last year, um, and she's returning and she's very talented. She's actually from the same club as Taylor Hain, um, so they know each other pretty well. And you know we're we're ready for them. We're expecting to kind of mix up the lineup tomorrow night, do some new things, get uh, some different opportunities for other people and really come out there and make a big splash right away. 
it's a big week for Lindsey Wilson volleyball. Of course, last night's win in Kentucky Christ, or uh, Cincinnati Christian on Wednesday, and then they travel down to the Trebekah Nazarene tournament. Four games in two days. It'll begin on Friday, three o'clock with Kentucky Christian, then Friday night, seven o'clock with Trebekah Nazarene. Saturday, Mid Continent at 11 a.m and then they'll close out the tournament at 3 o'clock against Cumberland University. And Coach, that's a lot of matches in a short period of time. Yeah, it definitely is, and I'm really excited about it, though. I know the girls are as well. You know, with having a roster as deep as we do, it really enables us to be successful in these tournaments because we can, you know, give people a rest when necessary um, and, you know, really not have a drop-off from position to position, and that's what I'm really excited about. I'm excited for all 14 of the girls to get a chance to make a big impact this weekend and hopefully come out with a 4-0 record. That's the biggest plan and obviously um, each win gets us closer to our goal of conference championships. Congratulations on last night's win. Appreciate it. And good luck the rest of the week. Thank this you week. so much. That's Coach Andy Cavins. Remember, uh, Lindsey Wilson back in action uh, tomorrow night, 6 o'clock Cincinnati Christian. Log on to lindsayathletics.com following the game, and we'll have the entire recap and stats from that game. And then uh, Friday and Saturday down in Nashville at the Trevecca Nazarene Tournament, or Classic, uh, Kentucky Christian, Trevecca, Cumberland U, and Mid-Continent, the opponents in those. And our friends down at Trevecca Nazarene actually will have live stats and live footage of that. We'll put the link on lindsayathletics.com so you can follow Lindsey Wilson Volleyball all weekend long as they uh, make their trek down to Nashville, Tennessee with to, at the uh, Trebek and Nazarene Tournament. For Coach Andy Cavins, I'm Chris Wells. This has been the Coach Andy Cavins Show on the Lindsey Wilson Sports Network.